Hi everybody, this is Fiery Survival. Uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm here to show you today um, the kit that you're going to need to make a uh, hand sanitizer. As you know, this coronavirus is going around the world. It's uh, killing a lot of people, making people sick. And the doctors say that it's more important to keep your hands clean rather than wear masks. And uh, I'm not sure about the area that you're living in, but I'm right now in Hong Kong. And all the stores, the drug stores, hardware stores, they're all out of hand sanitizer, rubbing alcohol, ethanol, everything. But fortunately, there's still a lot of alcohol left in the stores. So uh, what I did was I went to uh, a shop called Shasha. They, they sell beauty products. And I found this uh, aloe vera gel. And then I bought this. This is probably the cheapest vodka you can get. I used to drink a lot of this in uh, college. Uh, still, it's cheap, but still good. And I went to the body shop and I got this tree tea oil. I'm not sure if you can see that. Focus. Okay, yeah. Tree tea oil. Uh, from what I read, uh, I heard that this has. Um, antiseptic properties and this is just the re recycled uh, drink container uh, that I saved it's pretty hard so I thought it could be used for some purpose and combining these three uh, ingredients you can make a pretty effective hand sanitizer so um, so let me uh, show you what I made by mixing these uh, this is another jar and uh, so this, this is the liquid. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty consistent with the uh, hand sanitizer. Can you see that? Yeah. It's pretty consistent with the hand sanitizer you buy from the store. Um, here with me is a, a bottle of Purell. And this doesn't have aloe vera. It's got some other uh, gel in it, but it definitely has some alcohol. And it's uh, it's pretty much the same kind of consistency as you would get from mixing these materials. So uh, let me um, put this away, and then I'll open up these bottles, and I'll show you me making this. Okay? Uh, give me a second. Oh, I just wanted to show you that uh, just like normal rubbing alcohol, the, the lotion dried up very fast and, uh, you know, it smells nice and it's clean. This is a brand new bottle. This is also brand new. This is 97% pure aloe vera. Tree tea oil. You only need a few drops. So, so I read different uh, formulas online and they said use three, uh, two thirds aloe vera and one third vodka, but uh, you know, I tried it out and it's too sticky and it doesn't dry fast. So what I would recommend is 50% uh, vodka, 50%, 50% aloe vera. So I'm going to put the aloe vera in first.
Okay, so as you can see, it's about roughly 50% of the volume of this uh, container. I'm going to put the vodka in. Okay. And then a few drops of the tea tree oil. I'm going to put about 15 drops in it. Okay, close that. Close this. Close the lid. And they say, you know, we should shake this uh, pretty vigorously to mix it. chapstick I'm gonna just stir this up So here's the hand sanitizer. I mean, it's got a similar viscosity of uh, the normal Purell, um, albeit without the bottles, or the bubbles, I mean. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put dab this on my hand and see if it dries as quickly as uh, normal hand sanitizer okay smells very nice my hands feel really soft because that because of the aloe vera uh, it's a little bit sticky but I think it, it'll uh, dry off very quickly. Yeah, so it's, it's done. So you can't see any trace of the lotion. Hands feel dry. So um, please, you know, you guys that are out there, don't be discouraged. Um, if you can't find rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer, this is a perfect way for you to make hand sanitizer at home using recycled bottles, um, aloe vera gel, I, I guess you can use other uh, hand lotion as well, uh, but this aloe vera gel absorbs really well into the skin, so I would try to use this instead if you had it. And if you don't have rubbing alcohol, please use vodka. If you don't have vodka, use gin or any, any alcohol that has that's about 40% uh, alcohol content. Um, Alcohol, I mean, I would use vodka because it, it doesn't have any smell and it doesn't have any uh, a color in it so that it would be probably the best alcohol substitute for making hand sanitizer. And, uh, you know, we don't know how this uh, disease is going to spread, but I pray uh, for the world to be safe. I pray for your families and your safety. And, um, and thank you very much for coming to see my video. And... Uh, Please like and subscribe if you liked it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.